Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we all know that uh, in Windows 10 there was a new backup uh, feature that appeared in the Windows 10 operating system. A lot of people didn't really like it, and it uh, is the Windows backup. It has the same icon as here in Windows 11, and uh, it typically wants to back up to OneDrive your files and uh, documents and so on. But there's going to be a change to it uh, because as we're getting close to the Windows 10 end of support, there will be a new page in that backup that will actually help you migrate to a new PC. So not only will you have backup this PC, you will also have transfer files to a new PC. It'll tell you that transfer requires both the PCs to be in a physical proximity and on the same Wi-Fi, and this would transfer the files to the new PC. Uh, so this is to make it easier for anyone transitioning to the uh, Windows 11 operating system, as it will be a migration app that will help you move on to something new. Once again, all in the spirit that Microsoft thinks you are going to buy a new computer. And, uh, of course, uh, this is an ongoing uh, battle because a lot of people should know, and I hope as many people as possible know, that you can still keep Windows 10 at least a year if you use the, the extended support from Microsoft, more if you use a uh, third-party option like Zero Patch. So, uh, yep, Microsoft still pushing Windows 10 users to buy a new PC, not even mentioning at all anywhere pretty much that uh, there's an extended support for a year that's available. Uh, this is going to be interesting. When will they start officially telling people, by the way, you have this option if you don't want to uh, leave um, you know, your PC for a new one, you have this extended support option for $30. So we'll see. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.